Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23, here in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined by Mr. Satoshi Kobayashi, who is a committee member for the Wireless Power Supply System Technology Committee. Welcome to the studio. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Now, it's uh, my pleasure. I, I, I would like to ask you, Mr. Kobayashi, yeah. you've been in involved in uh, technological committees, innovations for quite some time. What is your, your main uh, topic of interest here? Uh, it's called Wireless Power Transmission, WPT. Yes, and can you tell us a little bit about uh, what, what, what that involves? There are many, many applications or uh, a, a possible work applications, I would say. Uh, but. Uh, First thing we were interested in was the a, a wires charging of uh, electric vehicles. That was really the first uh, thing. But these days we are targeting a much low power uh, devices and uh, it's uh, charging wires, uh, wires charging of IoT sensors. And uh, there are many, many uh, sensors, especially in the factories. Uh, they sometimes need batteries, but uh, uh, sometimes need uh, wiring uh, to, uh, uh, to ensure the power. Uh, but uh, those batteries and the wiring are causing a lot of problems. And in one factory, uh, thousands of uh, sensors are working in you know, one line, one production line. So it's very uh, uh, cumbersome to keep everything work very well. So we're talking about essentially looking at very small pieces of technology being charged all at once, you say. So that's, is that a much more complex and uh, um, a challenging task? Uh, actually, uh, Japan has already established regulations for that and uh, products are uh, ready to come uh, to put into uh, market and uh, soon or later uh, we'll see many many products in japan but uh, uh, that uh, manufacturer wants to sell the, that product all over the world to uh, uh, yes uh, that's the situation and why is the World Radio Communication Conference important? I would say that the, the wireless part uh, transmission is uh, uh, not radio communication. And therefore, uh, in many countries, it's unregulated. It's a new technology, but unregulated. Uh, it means that they can use any frequency. But uh, if uh, they use uh, any frequency, uh, it might cause harmful interference to the radio communication services. We should avoid that. Uh, use of radio communication, uh, frequencies for radio communications are uh, decided in, uh, by the radio communication uh, regulation, radio regulation. And which is under the responsibility of WRC. And so oh, we want WRC to think about the possibility to minimize the harmful interference for that unregulated one. It's very a controversial <laughs> subject. It's unregulated. WPT uh, is not under the uh, responsibility of ITU. But the radio communication service may uh, receive uh, harmful interference from them. We should avoid that. Is the answer then to regulate and to reserve certain frequencies for this, do you think? If, it, if possible, harmonize the frequency globally. Uh, the frequency allocation for radio communication services are harmonized globally, uh, mostly ha harmonized. Uh, but uh, uh, as I said, that the WPT uh, frequency use is unregulated. It's not a good situation. 
What about the technology behind it in terms of standardization? I'm surely that's, uh, that's an important part of it as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as the standardization co is concerned, uh, ITUR study groups, uh, namely study group one, has been involved in, the, in that work. And uh, technology, uh, te technical study is done. And uh, actually, uh, mm, there are three recommendations already uh, uh, approved indicating which frequency bands can be used as a guidance to the radio uh, administrations. And how do you see the future for WPT evolving? Oh, uh, it's my personal view. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, applications uh, to, uh, uh, for WPT. And whereas uh, uh, wherever cable exists, we can remove the cable by using word, uh, the WPT technology. That means that, uh, <laughs> as you see, uh, you, we have a, uh, a lot of cables here and there. And <laughs> here as well, <laughs> everywhere, absolutely, yes, yeah. yes. So, uh, uh, a world without cables then, that's the way that, uh, yeah, that you imagine it's, it. It's, it's uh, our, our ideal situation. And uh, I would say that the application uh, is much wider than radio communication services. And, uh, therefore, uh, we may need to uh, a kind of a, gro a, a global regulation for that, but uh, currently there is no such uh, regulation. And even the national regulations are not ready. That's a problem. Well, let's hope that they are in the future. Mr. Kobayashi, thank you very much for sharing okay. some insights with us here. Yeah. And, uh, and thanks for being with us in the studio and at the conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe we'll catch up with you again in some stage in, in, the, in the wireless future. Oh, OK, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, uh, our ultimate goal is solar power satellite. So, right. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Excellent. We'll look okay. forward but to that too. But it will take a lot of time. In, in 20, 30 years, it might be 50 years from now. Sure. Uh, yes. So we won't be around then, but our, but our children and grandchildren will be able to profit from that. Thank you very much Thank indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then please check out our other interviews on the ITU YouTube channel, as well as the ITU podcast on SoundCloud, Spotify, or wherever you hear your podcasts. And uh, please uh, check out our website as well at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>